So sitting comfortable and then rest your hands, rest your hands on thighs or knees. And roll your shoulders up and down a couple of times, back and forth. And settle in. Maybe close your eyes. Let whatever the world is doing around you do what it does. And then settle your sit bones into earth. So you want to start playing with this, with this dance between the groundedness through your sit bones and then the expansion upwards. And your hands resting wherever they're comfortable. Feel your shoulder blades slide down. So the tips of your shoulder blades, they want to slide down to back pelvis. Your eyes are closing. Allow your collarbones to open up without lifting up into the lower ribs, just the collarbones and the sternum gently expanding. <laughs> There's the world out there. <laughs> so let that be. Close your eyes. Take that into your, take that into your meditation. Acknowledge that we don't need stillness to be present, but this is about learning to be present without stillness. Being present in the turbulence of life and the chaos of life and technology. <laughs> so again, turn your awareness inwards. And with your eyes closed, I suggest you turn your inner gaze up into the space between your eyebrows. And just gently rest it there. Continue to look upwards. Notice how that slightly lifts your head, lifts your crown, lifts your gaze. And with the groundedness through your sit bones, through your legs, feel a sense of lift. Now we're going to enhance that sense of lift as we guide our attention towards the root of our spine into tailbone. And then as you inhale, imagine you're inhaling through your spine and you're creating little gaps between your vertebrae with every inhalation. So every inhale, the crown of your head rises a little taller and it's not the shoulders, it's the crown, the spine. And then picture yourself on every exhalation as if your breath is pouring out the crown of your head and then the exhale flows over your shoulders, over your periphery, over your chest, over your shoulder blades and everything slides down, everything softens down. So there's a strong, deep sense of length through your inhalation, through your center, your pelvic floor, along your spine and up. And then and maybe you want to add a sense of golden light that comes out your crown and then you exhale to soften, to let this inhalation pour over your body, over your boundaries, over your edges. So even though we are not moving, we are being very active. So very active, lengthening. Our entire core is activating. And we're consciously letting go of tension we might have been holding for a long time. Maybe this week was a very busy week. And we take a moment, we take a moment to just acknowledge and then take away all labels, all judgments. For some, a busy week is amazing. For others, a busy week is challenging. So it's all subjective. So for now, we'll just let it all be whatever it is and feel deeply and sense deeply what is alive this moment. And whenever your mind grabs your attention and runs off with it, gently come back to breath. Come back to breath. So instead of your mind using you, use your mind. Guide it consciously to where you want, you want your attention to be. And if imagination helps, picturing light, picturing your breath, then you're welcome to do that. So as we sit here and breathe, we are landing in this moment. We are giving body and mind an opportunity to reconnect. And we 
and giving ourselves an opportunity to reconnect to who we are and where we at, to who we truly are, this presence that you are. We're reconnecting to a space within us that is greater and bigger than any emotion you could possibly feel, any thought you could possibly think. There's a space within you that can hold it all. It's great enough to hold it all. We connect into that. And as we start to move just now, this is the space we, we connect with, we play with. We fill our practice and each breath, each moment with a deep sense of curiosity. Imagine this was your very first moment as a human being on earth. Your very first moment in this body. Bringing that quality into your attention. Filling it with love and kindness. A childlike curiosity. Let's make our time together a celebration of awesomeness of who we are, what we are, a dance of gratitude to being alive, and an exploration, a celebration of what our bodies and minds are capable of. So however you've been sitting Find your way into a cross-legged position. And then we'll gently bring our hands together, bring them forwards and rub them together. Rub your hands, keep your shoulders soft, rub your hands. And then once there's a bit of warmth and your eyes still closed, you gently stack your hands onto heart. Receiving in your intention of nurturing and nourishing yourself today. We bring our hands together again, let's rub them. Really feel every bit of sensation there. Every bit of thoughts, emotion that might come up. And then we'll bring our hands onto eyes, just cupping them onto eyes. Feel and sense. And as we release our hands back down to knees, we open our eyes. We bring our hands forwards and then we interlock our hands and just turn our palms forward. Gently reaching into wrists, drop your shoulders, your outer shoulders down with your elbows down. Reach into wrists, sit tall and then reach your arms up and take your time. You might need to pause here. So now come back to that breath. You're becoming longer with every inhale and with every exhale your shoulder blades slide down and away. Down and away. Check whether you're shifting your head forwards. Can you reach it back a little? What might it feel like to lean into yourself here? Continue to breathe every inhale. That, that fountain that comes through your center up into crown. And with every exhale, soften shoulder blades down and back. Very good. If you want to add something, you can lift your gaze up and continue to reach your arms back. Stay high and tall on your sit bones, relax your thighs, and just witness and observe what happens as we stay here and breathe. Notice what comes up. So let's take another big deep inhale, and then as we exhale, we slowly drop our hands forward. We release our hands, palms parallel, reach our arms up, Slide our shoulder blades down and then move over to whichever side works for you right now, intuitively. Leaning over, keep the opposite sit bone rounded into that as you reach, as you maybe gently shift, rolling your chest open, rolling your shoulder blades open. Feel your sit bones grounding. And let's bring our top elbow to the knee and see if you can dip it onto the knee and then. Breathe deep and wide into the space between your shoulder blades, really opening up. 
And next inhalation, we'll reach our arm right up to ceiling, spread our fingers and we'll look at our hand. Lean your head back, lean your shoulder back. Check your bottom shoulder, it's not cramping up. Making space. And then reaching through top hand, coming back to center. And over onto the other side. Whichever side that is, your hand walks outwards. Your top hand up and reaching over. Keep the opposite sit bone grounded and then move around. Life's not static. Give yourself permission to explore and flow. And then eventually, let's do the same here. Elbow comes to knee and round into upper back. Broaden into your lower back ribs as well. Round and breathe into that. And on your next inhale, you reach your arm up. Look at palms, spread your fingers wide. Slide your shoulder blades down, lead into yourself, continue to breathe deeply. And reach up through your top hand, arms come up. We inhale here and we twist this time. Your preferred direction first, hands come down. One hand on knee, one hand behind you. And be your tallest you. Keep rising into the crown of your head. And every inhale takes you longer, every exhale takes you deeper. Notice we might not be moving, but there's lots happening. And then coming back to center, rise your arms up above your head, lengthen up. Imagine you're grabbing a crown and you're putting it on, wearing it. Rise tall into your crown, twist the other way, bring your hands down. Have a look, see if you can widen your collarbones a little more. Lift your navel up to heart. As if those two are dancing together. Twisting deeply, exploring your range of movement from within. And as you inhale, you come to center. And we'll do five more rounds in your own pace. So you twist, exhale, you come back to center, inhale. You twist, exhale, you come back to center, inhale. You twist, exhale, and keep going in your own pace and in your own unique perfect way. So move into whatever aspect of you might need attention today. No wrong, no right, no good, no bad. And then once you're even out, we meet with the arms above our head. We'll bring our arms forward, open our arms wide holding a big space in front of you. And then we'll shift our weight into space between sit bones and tailbone. Your feet lift. Maybe they need to stay on that. Maybe they can lift even higher. Now lift your heart at the same time, lifting it up. Gently reach your hands up and away, strong through your center. See if you can maybe even lift your toes with a sense of effortlessness. Very good. <laughs> And uncross your legs, cross them the other way. Lift your feet a little bit higher. A little higher, your heart also. And cross your legs. And some of us roll over, some of us might fall. Be with that. Beautiful. From here, the legs crossed, we'll hinge onto the front sit bones. Hands onto knees. And then we'll roll onto tailbone. We'll hinge onto front sit bones opening forward and we'll roll onto tailbone and go crazy here. This is your moment to really create some space into hip joints. Very important joints. Biggest joints in our bodies and probably where we hold the most tension, where we get stuck the most easily. And then next time you come forward, you pull your spine over your legs and give yourself permission to fold forward. Let your knees drop apart into mat. Let your chest rest on whatever they rest, whatever your chest rests on. Let your neck soften. To come up, we lift our gaze, we look forward, and then we lift our heart and rise into crown. Again, we swap our legs. A little quicker this time, onto front sit bone, and we fold it forwards one more time. Just check, is there a difference between the sides? And this time we come up chin to chest, rounding up. 
rounding up. Your shoulders come up to ears and back and away. Your hands land on mat behind you. Your feet come hip wide apart. Spreading fingers wide. Check your wrists, they're parallel. And then pushing hands into mat. We gently draw circles around the wrists. So we want to prepare the hands to take weight. Good. Circling. Soften. And roll the shoulders back, open your collarbones. And if you stay here, you're good. If you want, you lift your hips a little bit higher. So now we're not just stretching the wrists, but the shoulders. We're squeezing the glutes to point the tailbone back and away. Maybe we drop our head and take a look out the window, watching the world upside down. <laughs> lift a little bit higher if you like, and then release your sit bones back down. We'll cross our legs, bring our feet in close, roll over feet onto hands and knees. Hands on the shoulders, knees and the hips, the toes pointing back. We inhale to arch and we exhale to round it out. Round your shoulder blades apart. Inhale to lift the sternum forward up. As you do this, point your tailbone, your elbows to back corners of the mat so your chest is wide. With every exhale, you round. With every inhale, you arch. Imagine yourself flowing through water, flowing forwards and back. And on our next time, we come up, lifting our heart, we move into neutral spine. So lifting navel, lifting heart at the same time. You roll over your right toes and Shift your right heel back a couple of times, stretching the right leg. Right leg extended. And then lift your right heel. Very good. Can we ground our right hand and lift our left hand forwards? And check again your right elbow pointing to back corner, your shoulder wide and open. Reach. Inhale here. Exhale, round yourself out. Right knee to right collarbone, left elbow to hip. Lift your foot and your shin as high as you can. Round your lower back. And inhale to extend. And exhale to round. And stay here for an extra breath. Feel it burn inside your tummy. And extend. And one more. Exhale to round. Stay for a breath. Lift. And inhale to extend. Left hand comes back down. We bend the knee, point the toes up to ceiling. How high can we lift the foot and at the same time lift the heart? And can we maybe bring our left hand around and find our foot? And can we maybe press our foot into hand and see if that allows our heart to lift a little more? And exploring through breath and body where you might be resisting this. Where might you be holding tension, holding yourself small? rather than expanding. When we let go of foot, we reach, and we exhale, hand and knee onto mat. Take a moment to notice how the sides feel different, and then roll over left toes, and gently press your left heel back a few times. Keep your left foot flexed, and lift your left heel up. When you're ready, you reach your right hand forwards. Lift your navel up and in. Inhale here. And then pointing left toes as you exhale. Left knee to left collarbone. Right elbow to right hip. Hollow out your navel. And inhale to stretch it out. Reach it out. And exhale to round. Stay here for an extra breath. Lift your foot. Lift your knee. And inhale to reach it up. Make yourself long. Keep your navel strong. Exhale to round it out. Stay here for a breath. And on your next inhalation, you reach it up. Right hand comes back onto mat. Bend your left knee, point your left toes up to ceiling. Now notice how tempting it is to arch. Stay lifted to your navel as you lift your knee. Lift your navel, lift your knee. And maybe the right hand comes around, finds the foot or the ankle. As you gently lift your heart and you lift your knee. You'll notice most of these poses you approach them with the sense of curiosity and spaces will open up 
that might not have been there before. See if you can take the I out the way. The I, me, mine, and just let this flow through your body. Let go of foot, reach your hand, reach your leg, and hand and knee comes down onto mat. Now we'll just lift our knees for a moment, stretching the tops of our feet. Stretching from pinky toe to big toe. Gentle massage as you point your heels inwards and outwards. And we'll bring our knees back down. We tuck our toes, land our weight into toes, and then slide our hips back into down dog. So have a look forward. Your hands shoulder wide, your fingers spreading wide. And remember, if you've never been here before, first moment in this body on this planet, be really curious, deeply curious. Explore how does this body work? How does it move? How does it feel? And in your own perfect way, arrive in your down dog. So for some of us, maybe stillness, maybe you walk as you lift one heel at a time. Maybe looking forwards or looking up at navel. See what's true for you today. Let the back leg soften. Open wide, lift the kneecaps, soften your heart, point elbows to back corners of mat. And from here, we'll just, we'll bring our hands to feet. So walk your hands to feet, have a look at your hands as you do so. Hands slide up the feet, up the shins, onto kneecaps, and gently bending the knees. Hold your kneecaps, roll your shoulders back, lift your heart forward. And then exhale to rest your tummy onto thighs. So you really need to tilt pelvis forwards. If you want to use your hands on your sacrum, tilting pelvis, and then wrap your arms around your legs, grab your elbows. See if you can press your outer knees into upper arms as you fold a little deeper. So the sit bones are striving to ceiling, and your crown wants to rest on your toes while at the same time your knees press into upper arms and at the same time your shoulders reach away from ears your shoulder blades want to touch your pelvis notice where the weight is in your feet shift from left foot to right foot right to left front to back acknowledge and notice go a little deeper and then bend your knees release your elbows let yourself hang for a moment and then as you're ready, you roll yourself up to stand. So tailbone points down and forward, and your spine stacks up. Beautiful. <laughs> we come up already feeling a bit like a new person. Oh, we don't want to be person, like new. <laughs> so soften here, soften your shoulder blades down, spread your fingers wide. Let's lift our palms halfway up. Palms turning up and the thumbs want to move behind you. See if you can make your thumbs touch behind you. At the same time, the tailbone points forward. So you're not collapsing in your lower back. The pelvis is upright and your heart lifts up high. Shoulder blades sliding down, collarbones and sternum lifts. Beautiful. Inhale, reaching arms up. Grab the space above you. Slide your ribs and shoulders down. Sit into chair. Sit your sit bones back. Straighten your leg for a moment. Point your sit bones back and then bend the knees again. Folding forwards. Let your spine melt. Maybe the knees straighten. Maybe the sit bones lift. From here, looking forwards. And walk your hands to the front of your mat. Finding your plank. So heels above toes, shoulders above hands, feet hip wide, we take our gaze forwards. And if your knees need to help today, that's fine. Point your tailbone away, lift your navel up. Feel your ribs and pelvis in alignment. Your elbows pointing to back corners of your mat and grounding into the fleshy bit between index finger and thumb. Your heart open and most important, your breathing. <laughs> You are breathing. And can we do this smiling? Breathing and smiling. 
and see what changes as you smile. And then inhale here, exhale it back into down dog. You're welcome to step your feet in if that works for you. Lift your sit bones high, shake your head no, nod your head yes. Look forwards, lift your heels forward, stretch into toes, knees bent, your sit bones poke up, you look forward, bend your elbows a little, lower them towards mat. Can you still look forwards? Can you lift your left leg up? And then flow your left foot to land between hands. Right knee comes onto mat, walk your right knee back, point your right toes back. Let your fingers be these cups alongside a line with front heel. And then gently sway your hips left and right. Ground your left knee into your left armpit. So you can rest your torso onto knee, onto thigh, and gently shift. Making space into right hip flexors, opening into hips. You're welcome to stay here or grounding into right hand. Elbow points to back corner of mat as your left arm reaches up and back. You're welcome to stay here or you might find your foot reaching up into hand. You might find yourself able to shift the hips a little further forward as you lift your foot. Continue to lift your heart. Right elbow pointing back corner of the mat. You open wide and you breathe. The more tense it gets, the deeper you breathe. The more challenging it is the more you remember to put that smile in your eyes, in your face, on your lips. And then release your foot, tuck your toes, lift your left arm up. So now all of us tucking toes, lifting left arm up, lifting right knee, sinking hips while we lift the knee and open the chest. Very good. Front knee above heel. Take another big inhale. As you exhale, you slowly bring your hand down onto mat. We bring our right knee back down. Keep the back toes tucked this time, hands onto knee, lift yourself up. So your hips are above your back knee now. Open your, say, your sacrum, so this part of your body nice and broad, navel up and in. You might already feel your hip flexors um, screaming. <laughs> so maybe staying here, hands on knees, maybe rising arms up. You might be able to bring your hands together. Or you might be able to shift a little deeper. Imagine your tailbone wants to point towards your front heel. Your right hip rolls forward and your left hip rolls back. Your tailbone points down and your navel lifts up. And your heart lifts up from there. And everything is filled with breath and curiosity. Take another inhale here. And as you exhale, you bring your hands onto mat, you lift your back knee, find your feet, knee above heel, and we rise all the way up. Beautiful. We open our arms through the sides, make it the biggest movement ever. Feel your shoulder blades slide apart, your collarbones lengthen, hands onto hips, roll your right hip forward, roll your left hip back. Have a look down until your pelvis is parallel with the front of the mat. Notice what that does with the back leg. And then soften your back heel down. Reach your front knee forward. Bring your pelvis to be upright. Maybe you stay here. Maybe the arms rise. Maybe you stay here or the arms come through the sides, interlocking behind you. Rolling shoulders back. Keep your elbows bent. Reach your hands to heel and lift your heart. And continue to roll your right hip forward. Left hip back, heart opens wide. If you like to go a little further, bring your left shoulder onto the knee and bring your arms up and over. Let your neck soften, let your head hang, and let your shoulders soften. Wiggle your left toes. We slowly come back up. We release our hands, reach our arms up high. Inhale here. Let us exhale our hands down onto mat. Legs probably feeling a little wobbly now. Bring your left foot back and up. Both legs extended, both feet flex. Right heel drops down into mat, left heel lifts up high. See what it feels like to have your hips parallel. 
and left leg down. Walking your down dog or releasing in your own perfect way. Maybe through stillness, maybe through movement. And then we look forwards, we prepare for the other side. Looking forward, elbows to back corners, elbows bending slightly. Both heels lift, right toes reach up. Elbows to back corners of the mat, breathe. And then find your foot between your hands. And it's allowed to help the foot. <laughs> Very good. Making these domes in line with heel, we bring our back knee down onto mat. Right knee is in right armpit. We point our left toes back and gently sway side to side. Loosening up the hip joints, creating movement around the hip joints. And if you want to stay here, you stay. Otherwise, left hand flat onto mat. Maybe right arm comes up at back. Now, create a long line through your collarbones. Maybe the back foot lifts into hand. <laughs> and then soften your hips forwards again. Beautiful. Awesome. Open heart. Reach it back. Go to where you want to grind your teeth and then remember not to. <laughs> Keep taking your gaze into the space between eyebrows and witness whatever is alive in you this moment. And right arm up and comes down. Left toes tuck under. Let's lift the left knee for a moment. Left hand onto ground and right arm rises up towards ceiling this time, following hand with gaze. Now drop your hips at the same time you lift your left knee up high. Feel that contrast. Breathe into that contrast. And the right hand comes down onto mat. Left knee comes down, the toes stay tucked. Hands onto knee. The back toes tucked. Hands onto hips. Align your hips with the front side of your mat and really feel and look and bring your pelvis to be as upright as you can. And then this might be absolutely enough for you. If you want, you can lean a little further forwards. If there's space, your hands might come together and up. If there's more space, you might sink a little deeper. But continue to have the intention of tailbone pointing down and forwards, navel lifting up. Breathe. Let your heart open. Let yourself surrender into the challenge. Remain curious. Remain expansive rather than contract. And your hands come forward. Light domes alongside the heel. Lift your back knee. Find your feet. Prepare and lift up. Arms to the sides, onto hips. Again, aligning hips with the front of the mat. Left hip forward. Right hip back, pelvis upright, and it looks like nothing, but can be really, really challenging. I do this every day, and still my legs shake, my legs shake every single time. And there's always another layer to explore. So maybe you stay here, or the arms rise up, the shoulder blades slide down, or you lean back a bit. Maybe you stay here. See if you can straighten out your back leg a little more. Or the hands come through sides. Interlock your hands the unfamiliar way this time. So swap the fingers, roll your shoulders back, lift your heart. And then if you did so on the other side, folding forwards. Right shoulder onto knee. Let your head hang. Soften your arms up and over. Wiggle your toes, make sure they're not holding on. And then slowly, with ease, flow yourself back up. Rising up, inhale, and exhale, reaching forward. Hands come down onto mat, spreading fingers, shoulder wide, and right foot slides into three-legged downward facing dog. Flexing the foot, dropping left heel, lifting right heel, looking down or slightly forward. Another inhale and exhale, leg down. Now this beautiful treat, big toes together, open the knees wide, point your toes, 
have your big toes touch and then settle towards your heels or into the space between your heels, sitting tall. And you're welcome to play with blocks and cushions and folded blankets. And then from here, fold your torso forwards. Let your ribcage sink into the space between your knees. Allow your pelvic floor to release down to earth, down to mat. Every inhale is a sense of expansion and length. Every inhale brings space into your body. And with every exhale, you let go. You let go of all that is not this moment. All that is I, me, mine. In the space you're opening up, fill it with curiosity. Let it be space. Let's look forward. Come onto hands and knees. Bring your knees hip wide. Your shins are parallel now. Keep your hips above your knees and walk your hands forward. Arms parallel or hands slightly outwards if that's better for your shoulders. Forehead comes onto earth. Make it a long line through your spine and continue to slide the tips of your shoulder blades towards your pelvis. A gentle external rotation through the upper arms so that you can soften into shoulder joints. And then have the intention of melting your sternum, your heart space into mats. So, what happens is we tend to hold a lot of tension around the upper back, holding around the shoulder blades. And softening into those muscles is challenging. And with time, we start to hunch forward. So this is a beautiful release. And we're not forcing anything, we're just playing with our breath and gravity. And take another inhale, another exhale to maybe go a little deeper. And then slowly slide your sit bones to heels. So your chest resting on thighs, another child's pose variation. And from here we roll ourselves up to sit on heels, hands onto thighs. And just notice, again, maybe rolling your shoulders forwards and back. Notice if there might be a different feel around the chest. Maybe lifting one ear at a time up to ceiling, striving through the ear up, soften through the shoulder down. Notice if there's tension you're holding around the neck. And remind those muscles that, are, that they're there to hold the head in place, not to hold the shoulders up. <laughs> Let's move forwards onto knees and step our left foot forward, knee above heel, shifting gently forwards until our hands can land on mat and then we shift it backwards. So lifting your sit bones high, if you want to grab, lift your sit bones and the front leg extends. Inhale, lifting heart a little higher and exhale, folding over the front leg. Feel the entire back side of your left leg lengthen as your left sit bone pokes back and surrender over the leg. And just take a moment here to breathe and feel. In day-to-day -day life, it's very easy to run from discomfort. And in my experience, we happily do. <laughs> So here we stay, we stay and we acknowledge. And we almost building our ability to be with discomfort, which then becomes a great gift for day-to-day -day life. Lengthen forwards, knee above heel, soften your hips. Imagine you didn't have to run from discomfort anymore, but you could just face whatever comes your way in building the life you would love to live. Come back onto knees, we'll go onto the other side. So 
So right foot steps forward and we soften into the hips and we bring our hands down. We keep our chest and pelvis in alignment with the mat and then we soften it back. Maybe the toes stay on the mat or they might rise. As you inhale, you lift through heart. Keep poking your sit bones back so your pelvis is tilting forward. Imagine you could arch your lower back here as you fold over the extended leg. And let whatever sensations are there, let them be there. Open up to them rather than denying them, avoiding them. Go to where it's really tender and, and add some, give some curiosity, some loving kindness. And just notice what happens. Let's shift our knee forward. And then left hand stays on mat. Right foot walks to outside edge of mat. Right hand comes onto mat. Right foot steps back. Hands shoulder wide. Find your plank. And from our plank we shift into down dog. Reaching the hips back and away. If you'd like to move through your Chaturanga or your Vinyasa flows, you're welcome to add them in wherever is needed. Otherwise, we'll just walk our hands to feet, watch the mat as we come past it. And then, we'll hands onto knees, we lift our chest forward and we explore how much space we've made in the legs as we exhale to fold forward. Hands onto opposite elbows if you like. If you'd like to take it a little deeper, you can slide your palms under your feet, toes all the way up to wrists, standing on your hands and going a little deeper into forward fold. Maybe the crown of your head does touch the toes now. <laughs> Be curious. Notice where the weight is in your feet. And we release the hands from under our feet. We let go of our elbows and we roll ourselves up to stand. Consciously stacking spine from pelvis all the way up into crown. The longest spine you've ever had. As you exhale your hands down and away. Now shift your weight into left foot. Lift your right knee up. Bring your right hand onto knee. And let's lift the knee up a little higher. Right hand slides down to ankle and shifts it back. So bring your heel to sit bone. Now left hand onto lower belly between navel and pubic bone. Lift that space up and in. And you draw your knee back as you draw your foot back and away. Keep lifting navel up and in. Keep your body in alignment with your mat. And maybe that's enough. Maybe you want to lift your hand up. But keep this lift really important. Maybe enough or maybe you go a little more, a little further. So play around. Keep rolling left hip back, right hip forward. Pressing foot into hand, hand into foot. Reaching through left fingertips. Maybe left knee is bent or you might be able to stretch it out. You might be able to bring your left fingertips onto mat. A bit of a playful variation <laughs> and open the right leg a little more and you might surprise yourself you might be like oh I never knew my body could do this or you decide no nah, next week rather <laughs> slowly come out of it in the most elegant way <laughs> and step your feet onto earth bring your hands onto hips feet hip wide we're going to sway our hips, so really guiding pelvis. As you come forwards, pelvis tilts back. As you go back, pelvis tilts forwards, big circles. And big circles the other way. Very, very helpful in life to have mobile hips. So notice where it gets stuck. It's your homework for the week to work on. <laughs> and we center ourselves out. We find our most grounded stance. Left knee comes up, left hand onto knee, lift the knee a little higher. Straighten right leg into earth, really ground into earth. Stand as tall as you can. Hands to ankle, bring it back. 
Other hand onto space between navel and pubic bone. Lift it up and in. Lift your front pelvis up. And you might want to stay here. That's perfect. Keep aligning, keep working, keep breathing. If you want to go a little further, if you'd like to play, pressing foot into hands. Reaching opposite hand forwards and up. Playing with your balance. Wiggle your right toes. Make sure you're not holding on. There's no need to face any challenge with contraction. Spread it out. Maybe you want to try on this side, fingertips onto mat. Left knee rises up to ceiling. No wrong, no right. And then find your way back out. <laughs> Beautiful. Turn yourself um, sideways on your mat. Bring your feet wide. Awesome. <laughs> and then check your feet. The outside edges of your feet are parallel. And hands onto hips. Shift your hips forwards. Point your tailbone down. And hips back and forwards. Pelvis tilts back. And as you lean forwards, the pelvis tilts forwards. Explore the range of movement. And then we'll meet um, with our chest parallel to earth. And our hands strong on the pelvis, elbows out and wide. Your heart lifted. Now check in. Are you rounding your lower back or can you gently arch it? Create that neutral spine alignment. If you need to, you can use your hands to tilt the pelvis a little more. Draw your kneecaps up. Take an inhale and exhale. Fold it. Let your hands be where they need to be. Sway from side to side. Keep your hips in alignment with your feet. Keep reaching your sit bones up high. Maybe walking all the way over to left foot. And walking all the way over to right foot. And as you come back to center, how about we walk our hands forward. So our hips still in alignment with our feet. Walk your hands forward and then drop your heart to mat. Let your head hang or look slightly forward. Maybe looking down at mat and let your heart drop. Your sit bones rise. It's a deeper variation of the one we did on our knees earlier. Feel into it. Let the back legs open. Let your heart soften. Another inhale. And then slowly, gently lift your gaze. Bring your hands in. Your fingertips are under your face. On the mat. Right hand stays here. Left arm rises. See if you can stack your shoulders and bring your collarbones in alignment with left and right arm. Take another deep inhale, exhale to soften left hand down, lands next to right. Keep your fingertips as light as possible as you twist the other way. Open heart, check your alignment, can you bring your collarbones in alignment with arms, squeeze your navel, long spine, and exhale the hand down. Another inhale to lift halfway, as we exhale we fold a little deeper, hands come to ankle. Or they walk into the space between your feet. See what's right for you. Continue to lift your sit bones up. Lift your kneecaps up. And let your spine, your torso just flow. We bring our hands onto hips. And then we slowly lift our pelvis to be upright and come up to stand. We heel toe our feet towards one another. And feet hip wide. We gently sway and circle our hips. Beautiful. Release your hands. Let your shoulders soften. Feel into body. And then bring your feet so that you can come into a squat. So see what foot alignment works for you. If you need some cushioning under your heels, you can get some. And otherwise, elbows to inner knees, hands come together. Pressing hands together to open the knees wide. So if we don't do this, what happens if you just lift the elbows? Do your knees squeeze in? Do they squeeze you? And let's do the opposite. Let's keep the knees wide. So if you lift your arms up, can you keep your knees wide? Can you bring them wider? 
a little wider even. <laughs> a little bit wider. Beautiful. Keep that. Keep that. Bring your fingers down. Keep your knees as wide as you possibly can as you lift your hips up. Keep your knees wide. Knees pointing outwards. Wiggle your toes. And come back to squat. Well done. <laughs> Elbows, knees, hands together. And now we ground our right upper arm into inner knee. Hand comes onto mat. And then left hand comes to opposite, opposite knee. And push your two knees apart as you gently twist, looking past your left shoulder. And lean your chest back. Lean yourself into you. Notice what your toes are doing. Where's the weight in your feet? Lean back. Another inhale and exhale to release. Going the other way, anchoring the knee with the upper arm, hand onto mat, opposite hand to knee, open the knees wide, lean into it. Slide your shoulder blades to pelvis, lift your heart, open a little more. Inhale here and exhale to release. Let's come to sit. <laughs> Very good. Let's open the knees wide and out to the side. Lots of hip work today. Have a look, check in, knees pointing up, toes pointing up, and then move from side to side to really be grounded into your sit bones. If you need support, your hands can be behind you. If you notice that you're kind of collapsing backwards. And if you're fine where you're at, maybe you can move the legs even further apart. Now, how tall can we sit? Notice how the sensations change as we lengthen up. If you feel you're collapsing, bring your hands back and let's sit as tall as we possibly can. So your navel lifts upwards, your pelvic floor lifts up. Remember that breath we did earlier, lengthening. So how tall can you sit? Can you almost make your sit bones hover over the mat? <laughs> That's how tall you are. And if now with this length, if there is space, see if you can move it forwards. It doesn't have to. We're all different. Be very aware of your pelvis. It is tilting forwards, not backwards. So you have the intention of arching your lower back rather than rounding it. And come back to this mindset of curiosity. So you're witnessing, you're exploring, you're in this body the first time ever, and you want to know what is it able to do? What does it feel like? Hmm. And let's come up to seated. We'll grab behind your knees with lots of loving kindness. We, oh, we lift them, we lift them, we lift them, we lift them. We cross our legs for a moment and just sense what it feels like, maybe gently arching forwards, rounding back. Probably a lot going on in the legs and the hips. So just notice what's there. And then we'll step our feet onto mat. Now make sure you're at the front of your mat so that you have enough mat behind you to roll down onto. So wonderful to be able to see you all while we practice. I love it. <laughs> and then from here, let's roll ourselves down onto mat. So arms wide, heart wide. We point our tailbone towards heels. Point your tailbone and one vertebra at a time rolling down onto mat. One at a time. Release your head down. Now as your head comes down, keep your lower back on the mat. So bring your hands to pelvis and see if you can broaden your sacrum into mat. So your entire spine is flat on the mat. And if you can, reach your arms up and over, but continue to press your whole spine into mat. And then you bring your hands forward, bring your chin to chest. If you need to grab your legs for help, you can. And then one vertebra at a time, in your own time, and really slowly you roll yourself back up. Lifting navel in and up. Extending tailbone down. And roll yourself back down onto mat. Arms up and over, reaching. Inhale here and then coming forwards again, rolling up. In your own 
perfect way and in your own pace. Feel that mobility in your spine. Feel that conscious grounding of each vertebra. And we'll do one more of these. Really tapping into our center, into our core. And then we'll meet lying down on our mat. Now this round, instead of arms up and over, we'll bring our knees into chest, hands onto the knees and gently sway the knees left and right. Keep your lower back broad on the mat. And from here we'll step our feet down onto mat, close to sit bones. So reach your hands past your hips, feel your heels there outside edges of your um, feet parallel. Gently press your palms into mat as you lift your tailbone up, just the tailbone. Lower back still on the mat, just the tailbone pointing up. And then peel your spine off the mat, one vertebra at a time. And your hands alongside your, he your hips. Maybe tucking shoulder blades under. There's no, no weight in your neck, no weight in your spine. Push your back head gently into mat. Squeeze your glutes to point your tailbone away. Feel that openness through the hip flexors. Keep your thighs parallel. And then roll it back down, one vertebra at a time. Super conscious. Continue to breathe through it. Be fully in it. Tailbone comes down. Knees into chest. Hug them in. Chin to chest. Hug your knees in top. Keep your chest lifted. Step your feet down. Again, the hip wide. Feel your heels. And then release your chest down, head down. Point your tailbone up. Lift your hips. And maybe this time you want to interlock your hands underneath you. Roll your shoulder blades even further towards one another. See if you can lift your hips a little higher. Extend your tailbone even further away from neck. Welcome to move around, explore. Open up into heart. Notice where your knees are pointing. Keep them parallel or maybe squeeze them together to explore what that feels like. Another inhale and releasing it down. Broaden through the shoulder blades. Now this round, your hands slightly out to the side and we'll just sway our knees left and right. Feet stay where they're at, sway your knees. And then coming back to center. Let's press our feet into mat one more time. If, if full wheel pose is part of your practice, you're welcome to go there with hands alongside the ears pressing up. Otherwise, starting with tailbone, again, pressing lower back into mat, lifting tailbone, navel strong, super long through the lower back, hips lift, and the hands might interlock underneath. The hands might grab the ankles this time, lifting a little higher. You might come onto toes this time. So there's no limit to your playfulness. Maybe give yourself permission. Maybe, maybe the right leg rises and comes down. The left leg rises and comes down. Or maybe your hips rest onto hands and both legs rise. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> so if your hands are on your hips and your legs are up, you're welcome to stay here. Maybe dipping them overhead to come into plow. And if not, for the rest of you, if you'd like to join us, you roll your hips back down. Lift your legs up and press into hands to come onto shoulders. Now, really being in your shoulders in the back of your head. And then we lift our legs up. If you've had your hands on your hips or your hips on your hands, see if you can walk your hands towards the tips of your shoulder blades. And we remind the shoulder blades to reach towards hips. We stack ourselves in our own perfect way. So either stacking hips onto hands or stacking hips above shoulders or even just the hips on the mat and the legs lifting up. Make sure no spine on the mat, you're nice and broad. Feel the blood and fluid drain out of your feet through your legs down into torso. 
turning our world upside down. If you've just got your lift, legs lifted, maybe you circle and point and flex your feet. And then from shoulder stand, when you're ready, in your own pace, maybe you move through plow, or you roll yourself straight down, coming onto hips, legs above hips. And we meet here, take your time. We lift our arms to stack above our shoulders. So we kind of look like a, like a bug on our back. <laughs> Let your sacrum rest into mat. Let your shoulder blades rest into mat. So lots of weight into hands and legs and circle your wrists and circle your ankles. From here we'll bring our feet and knees together, hug our knees into chest, squeeze them in tight. And then open the knees towards the elbows, uh, towards the armpits, the shoulders. Rest your chest back down. Imagine you were squatting on the ceiling, so your feet lift up, your shins perpendicular. Happy baby. Grab behind your thighs and see if you can draw your knees into your armpits. But your tailbone stays on the mat, your sacrum stays wide. And if you can reach your feet, you can go there. And if you want to sway from side to side, that's wonderful. Make it yours. There's no wrong or right in life. There's just you and your beautiful uniqueness. And a whole world out there waiting for you to shine. And maybe you can grab your toes and stretch out the legs. Straighten them out. Keep your sacrum on the mat. Can you dip your big toes in line with ears on the mat? Yeah, a little more. You don't need to look. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Reach a little more and then release the legs. Bring your knees together. Hug them into chest one more time. Squeeze them in tight. Step your feet onto mat. Knees pointing up. Can we roll ourselves up one more time? Rolling up to our spine. Rolling up to sit. We cross our legs, sit high and tall, hands onto knees. Close your eyes for a little moment to, to notice. So this is a position we started in today. Notice what's there now. We open our eyes again, bring our hands out to the sides, fingertips touch the mat, palms spread wide, shoulder blades slide down. And we inhale, reaching arms to the sides and up. Grab your space, the space above you, grab your crown, draw it down, twist left, and drop your hands. So your back hand might be behind you. Maybe this round it comes around and grabs the opposite side. Every inhale makes you taller. Every exhale lets you twist a little deeper. No tension in the thighs, keep them soft. Inhale yourself back to center and exhale yourself the other way, twisting. And back hand might come around, so you twist a little deeper. Keep your heart lifted. Beautiful. Ask yourself, what would it feel like to lean into myself? And coming back to center, gently a little counter twist, left and right. We'll step our feet flat, we'll roll ourselves down onto my arms out to the side, step your feet up to sit bones, and then exhale your knees over to the right. Turn your gaze towards your left hand. This might absolutely be enough. If you like, you straighten out your top leg and reach it up to hand. So you might have your left foot landing in your right hand. With every inhale, give yourself space. With every exhale, surrender into gravity. Let this moment and earth hold you. Stay present, stay fully focused. We'll bend both knees, lift them back to center, drop the knees over the other way. Maybe staying here, turning gaze towards right hand, or extending right leg into left hand. And soften. 
Soften your right shoulder into mat. Soften your head into mat. Give yourself permission to hold on to nothing. Just this moment, just here now. And slowly coming back to center. Hands onto knees. Now find your warm layers. Find your blankie. Find whatever is going to make this moment super comfortable for you. And then find your way into Shavasana. So broadening out into mat. Building your Shavasana from your pelvis, your sacrum. So this space here, really supported into mat. Sometimes we need to have our knees slightly lifted to have our sacrum broad in your mat. So then you could just place a rolled up pillow or cushion under the knees to broaden here and then the knees can rest into that pillow. But if you're fine with your legs long, that's great. And then building your shavasana from the pelvis up into shoulders, into head. I quite like using my hands to lift my head and really place it into mat and then bringing the arms around. So we make it conscious. So I'm going to sit here because then I don't have to shout and I can speak more gently <laughs> while you rest onto your mat. Close your eyes and guide your awareness, your attention inwards. Turn your palms up. Gently tuck your shoulder blades under. Let your fingers curl in naturally. And then soften your eyelids again, soften your forehead. Remember turning your inner gaze into the space between your eyebrows. Staying there, sensing there, feeling there. Bring all your attention to eyebrows, to forehead. Deeply curious, what does this forehead feel like? And then bringing all your attention to the eyeballs and the little muscles that hold the eyeballs in place and the eyelids and become so soft that even if you wanted to open your eyes, you wouldn't be able to really let them become heavy. Let your eyeballs sink towards the space in your back skull as if your eyes were hovering between your ears. Let your inner ears soften and then sense down into your jaw muscles. Soften. If your lips come apart, they come apart. Soften your gums and your tongue. Think of a cat when you stroke them, they sometimes stick their tongue out a little. <laughs> Think of that softness. Take that softness into the space where spine meets skull and down the neck, all the muscles along the spine, your throat, your collarbones. Stroke your awareness through your body like an internal touch of kindness and tenderness. nurturing and nourishing your body. Feel your collarbones soften, the outer shoulders soften. Guide your awareness along your arms, down to wrists and palms and fingers. For a moment, feel the sensations inside your palms. Whatever is there, the temperature, might be warm or cold, tingly, pulsy. Just feel. Your creativity.
curiosity, curiosity so sharp that you delve deeper and deeper into the sensation. From here we move back up our arms, meander past our armpits, our chest, our ribcage. Picture the muscles between your ribs, let them soften. Picture your heart inside your ribcage. One of my teachers says, the heart is a wild thing, that's why it's kept in a cage. <laughs> I love that. So see if you can soften that cage you might have built around your wild heart. If you can soften that armor you might put on when you step into the world out there. See if you can soften all that tough heart periphery that's there to protect something tender inside. And remember that that tenderness inside is your strength, your power, your beauty, indestructible, greater than anything else. Meander to your navel area, your abdominals, soften here too. Witness and watch your navel rise and sink with your breath. Witnessing your lower back move with breath. Your entire torso moving with breath. attention to hip joints, to pelvis, but pelvic floor. All the organs are resting in our pelvis and then the hip joints. Big strong muscles around our hip joints. The most important joint of our body. Soften here. Go deep. Pierce your attention and awareness right into hip joints, right into those big bones and soften. Hips is where we hold a lot of undigested trauma. We store it there and we become stiff and tight. And the lymph fluids stop flowing and our legs become heavy. Soften. Picture blood and fluid running through your hips freely. Picture and imagine yourself fully free to move your hips in any direction you please, any time. No limitations to your range of movement. And then we enter your awareness from hip joints down the thighs, soften the quads, the tops of your legs. Soften down along and all around your femur, your hamstrings. Move into kneecaps, circle your awareness around kneecaps and inner knees. Let everything soften. All of these muscles are involved in keeping us safe. When we stress, they contract. If we stress for a very long time, they contract for a very long time. Until often we forget that we can actually relax them. Moving your awareness and attention down your shins, your calves, into heels and ankles, feet and toes. Stroke your awareness along the soles of your feet, along your toes, from big toe to pinky toe and back. 
stroke along the outside edges of your feet. Send gratitude into your feet. They carry you through life. They're the foundation for your body and posture. They're always there and yet so far away. Massage your feet through your awareness. Thank them. And then slowly move back up. Notice any tension that might still remain as you move through calves and shins. Circling the kneecaps, up through the thighs, into hip joints, pause wherever you need to pause. Belly button, rib cage, up and down along your spine, caressing your neck, your collarbones, your throat. Sensing again the space between your eyebrows, forehead, lips, cheeks. Inner ears, shoulders, arms, hands. See if you can spread your awareness and feel everything at once. So still that the boundaries between body and space might be unclear. Feel this field of aliveness, which is your body, the pulsing, the vibration that you are. And notice that all this is untouched by the stories your mind creates. The spaciousness within you is like the blue sky, untouched by any kind of weather. There might be days we don't see the blue, clear, fast sky. It still is there. Same with your essence. There might be days or weeks or years that you forget. The spaciousness you are, the aliveness that you are, is always there. Let your breath become a reminder throughout your day. Let your breath remind you that sense of aliveness, spaciousness within. Turn your gaze back up to space between the eyebrows and let the eyebrows soften. Imagine a bright golden light, right between your eyebrows, right in your forehead. Imagine that being a source of light and warmth, wisdom, kindness. Let it radiate. This be your light, which you shine into the world. Keep part of your awareness there and shift the rest of it to breath. We notice and witness. And then gently invite breath to deepen. Take a few deeper inhalations and really empty yourself out. Breathing in through your nostrils, maybe deeper than you ever have. Really expand and then open your mouth to let your breath come out. Do another three of these deep breaths and eventually let your body move with that breath. And when you're ready, roll over onto your side, whichever side. Draw your knees up to chest. Maybe you hug your knees into chest or you hug your arms around you. Still deeply grounded, your body adjusting, preparing. When you're ready, you come up to seated. Slowly, effortlessly, no need to look. You're one with the space that surrounds you. So 
Keep your eyes closed, trust. Find your sit bones, cross your legs, sit high and tall. Take a few breaths as you arrive here, in long and deep along the spine, from root into crown, and exhaling, softening through your periphery. Maybe you can pour some of that golden light that rests between your eyebrows all over you as you exhale. Picturing yourself like this golden fountain, sitting as tall and majestic as a mountain. And with the eyes still closed, bring your hands together, rub them, rub them. Make them warm. Imagine you're making fire. Have that intention of creating warmth. And when there is some, stack your hands onto your heart. Feel your heart beat under your hands. Let this moment be deep. A sense of gratitude. Thanking yourself for showing up on your mat, showing up for yourself today. We inhale together, gently lift our hearts, lift our gazes, and exhale, bowing, looking inwards, the golden light between our eyebrows touching heart, thanking ourselves, and as we do, we thank one another. Gently lifting gaze, open your eyes when you're ready, and thank you all. Thank you all for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed. I did. It was a great pleasure and honor guiding you. Um, have a beautiful rest of the weekend. You are welcome to unmute yourself if you like to share. You're welcome to just leave. Make it yours. Thank you, everyone. Mm -hmm.